Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. A general reminder for those who do not know, MIC is having a one year anniversary event where Bao is going to be trading live in front of our members. It's coming up August 17th. Mark your calendars. As an added benefit for our members, the event is 100% and exclusively free for annual and lifetime members. While lifetime, on top of that, get extra coaching before the event and guaranteed front row seating. While most charge for these events, we show our support by making it, again, free for annual and lifetime members. If you are interested in signing up for this event, DM TBradley90 in MIC Slack chat and or email myself at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. Now, we have a very special video for you guys this week as Austin, who goes by Aloha Trader, one of our head moderators in MIC chat, does a detailed description and video of anticipation versus confirmation versus quote unquote confirmed outcome in trading. And while today is just a preview of the full length video, if you want to watch the full length or any of our exclusive content, then become a member of MIC. Hey everybody, Austin here. Um, I'm going to do a, a different kind of video today, um, kind of like a mini kind of like a mini webinar series here, something that I'd include in my webinar series, but it's not actually going to be a trade recap, but it's, um, it, it's definitely applied to um, trading. So what I, a, a topic I really want to talk about, and it's, really, it's been really slow, that's why I'm doing this video right now, and this is a very good question that got brought up in weekend mentoring, and I see this kind of question happen over and over and over again, and I really think it's a very important topic to go over. So I want to go over um, confirmation versus anticipation, and I did a webinar about this, but I want to go more in detail about this specific, this specific instance, right, or a topic. So what I'm going to be, what I'm going to be talking about is confirmation versus antici anticipate, <laughs> confirmation versus anticipation versus con what I call confirmation with the with with quotes or confirmed outcome is a, a better way, a more apt description of of it. And this is the question of how do I know um, if my setup is confirmed or not? Like a lot of times when I wait for it to confirm, then like my, then I've lost my price, right? I've lost the good trade because it's, you know, like I've waited for the trade to happen and now it's happened. So how do I not anticipate my trade, but also confirm the trade, but get some meat? And this is a kind of a niche topic I kind of want to go into. So let's get into it. So there's going to be three topics that I go over. Right? And I kind of want to introduce the notepad because it's going to help people who are scrolling through the video to go through it faster. So this first one is going to be on the first, uh, or sorry, this is going to be uh, an overextended trend break. This is a, a trade I took um, uh, a, few, a few weeks ago on, on Caper, or it's been maybe a month ago on Caper, right? So. This was an overextended trend break, and what? How do you know when to short the pattern, or when to to place your trade in this pattern, and when it's too late, when you're anticipating the pattern, and when it's confirmed, right? So, what I want a concept I want to go over is the concept of A through Z, right? I call it A through Z, right? So, if your setup um, is Z, if the outcome you're looking for is Z then you are looking for A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y to confirm, to happen. And Z is your target, right? Z, A through Y has to happen. And then once A through Y has happened, your setup is now considered confirmed and you're waiting for the outcome Z, right? So this is, this is a, a, a concept that I use in my trading. Like, have I gotten all the way to Y yet in my, in my trade? Right. So, for example, in this situation, and it's really good. Das can cut. Right. I can cut into some stuff here. So, so for example, my overextended trend break pattern, as I go over in the webinar, happens when the it, a stock is overextended and it's trending with higher lows, and those higher lows are starting to look weaker. And when the higher low chain breaks, that is when I enter because my setup is for when this higher low breaks, this higher low chain breaks, that is how I know when to get in. So this is my Y, right? My Y, this is X, right? We're at X right here. The second we get here, Y has happened, 
why has happened and when y happens i can enter the trade and my expectation is to cover at z right this z is the end of the setup z needs to be at the end of the setup this is the end of the pattern right z is where an, is at the end of the target so my target over here was I believe the morning support here Z so when Y happens is when I think Z is going to come so over here it's very you know like my line in the sand for from X to Y all of this is A through X the Y is the trigger right the Y is the execution time and Z is the target right and then we scroll over and we get Z this is Z down here so this this is my interpretation of what confirmed setup versus versus anticipation. If I got in here, right, if I zoom out and cheat and don't cheat and look at the price, any you know, if I'm getting in, you know, any time at all here, I'm anticipating the trade. Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at Tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T-O-S-H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.